This is a follow-up to my previous Internet Explorer video for those people who are so unknowledgeable about how browsers work and standards compliance that actually think that Internet Explorer, any version, is standards compliant. Here's the Star Trek Phase 2 website in Google Chrome. This is one of the dev builds, version 12. Now this site works as expected on the current release versions as well as versions from a year or two ago. Here's the menu bar up here. This menu bar is supposed to float to the top of the page as you scroll and then lock at the very top of the page like this. As you can see the menu bar is still there. And when you come back to the headpiece it unlocks and attaches itself back to the bottom of that. It's very simple code, as anyone who's done any web programming knows. Now, this is Internet Explorer 8. Same page. And as you notice, it doesn't lock the menu bar where it's supposed to even though we know Google Chrome does. This is a very old build of Firefox. This is version 3.09. This also works on version 2.02 of Firefox, which I don't have installed here. There's the menu bar. And when you scroll back up, it unlocks. Yes, this is a very old, very slow machine. Now, people have been saying, well, IE8 fixes that. I mean, IE9 fixes that. Microsoft's finally gotten it right. Here's Internet Explorer 9 with the latest updates. It's just installed and updated now. Here's the menu bar. Oops. IE9 still can't handle very simple code to lock a div where you want it to and to determine where the div is. So for those of you who think that Microsoft has somehow magically made their browsers standards compliant, you're wrong. They haven't. Things still don't work. That work in Firefox from builds 2 and up. That work in Chrome from builds 6 and up. Builds that are years and years old. Yet, IE9, which just came out, still doesn't support basic standards for simple things like that. Internet Explorer 9. So please, it's not bashing Microsoft, it's just stating the facts. Microsoft does not know how to make a standards compliant browser, or they refuse to, or they're unwilling to. Whatever their reasons, IE9 still is not standards compliant. Take a look at the code if you'd like. It's nothing special. As I said, it works in Firefox from version 2 up, works in Chrome from version 6 up, it works in Opera, it works in Safari, works in everything but Internet Explorer.